All right, everybody, welcome back to the Get It Done podcast. My name is Joe Zanke, your host, co-founder and COO of On Demand Storage. And today I'm with my guest, Chris Jones of Apex Health and Apex Moving and Storage. What's going on, Chris? Hey, good morning, Joe. How are you doing? Doing great, doing great. I uh, This is the first time I've interviewed someone with the camera angle like this. I really love the overhead. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm going to look into getting that done myself. Yeah, we've got it set up because I tip out a lot of people in my office so we can just do a full zoom of everyone and it backs it up. And so yeah, it's, it's great. Like it's a mini great. conference room. Oh, definitely. Um, so tell me a little bit about yourself and, um, you know, what you guys do over at, um, you know, a couple of companies that you're involved in. Yeah, well, Apex Moving and Storage, we've been in the Middle Tennessee area for about 100 years. We have roots extending that long and we're one of the largest uh, commercial and um, office moving um, uh, logistics movers here in Middle Tennessee. In addition, we're a national account mover. We've got um, some of the largest uh, national accounts in Tennessee and throughout the country where we pack, load, and haul and deliver all of the transferees for those companies domestically and globally. Um, in addition, we have a division for healthcare where we have specialized teams that assemble, install medical equipment, and move hospitals throughout the country. Gotcha. Must have been, um, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty busy last year, maybe in that realm. I'm you so know, uh, that's a good point. Uh, with COVID hitting, we actually ended up finding a. Um, a new service that we offer, which is PPE warehousing and distribution nationally with all of the companies, um, you know, immediately needing large, you know, gross numbers of PPE gear, N95 masks, gowns, surgical gloves. The, the, the global supply chain was really hit hard. And when they could get this, um, this, uh, PPE gear shipped from overseas, they needed places to put it. So we've helped a lot of our clients nationally set up uh, warehousing and distribution for their PPE gear to their individual hospitals. Wow. So that was uh, something we felt we could help with. And also, you know, ventilators, uh, shipping those, uh, you know, with 24 hour notices to different hot spots in the country. So yeah, we, we end up uh, learning a lot and partnering to see how we could help our customers. That's fantastic. I mean, you know, talk about being opportunistic one, but also just being opportunistic for the greater good. Um, right. You know, Absolutely. Co combining both of those things is, um, is always a lot of fun and, uh, and a great thing. And I'm so I'm sure you've helped um, plenty of people, you know, over that time. We have, yeah, we felt uh, part of the uh, solution and helping. So it, it's been a good thing. So Chris, how did you get into um, the moving industry yourself? I think everyone in the moving industry, it's not something you grow up going, I want to be in the moving industry. You know, everyone wants to be a fireman or a doctor or something, but my uh, family was in the moving industry. So I grew up, uh, you know, working on the trucks, so forth. And I went to college in the Marines and had no intention of ever going back into the moving industry when I got back. And of course I did. And I've been here for 30 years doing it and I love it to my blood and that's how it uh, ended up happening. Gotcha. Gotcha. No, it's definitely, um, I mean, be having it be in your blood, having, you know, the family ties to it and then getting involved with a company that's, um, you know, been as around as long as Apex, you know, I'm sure um, the experience that you can bring to the table is unmatched in a lot of ways. And, um, you know, your knowledge of how the entire operation um, in the moving industry works, you know, is, is, um, has to be really helpful, you know, when you're, when you're going out there and doing your job and, and, uh, and, you know, trying to quote out some of these larger projects that you guys are involved in. No, that's a good point. Uh, I, I really feel if you're going to be in sales, you have to have some sort of background where you've actually done the job. So, you know, there's been, you know, years where I was a driver on a truck in the summers and, you know, project managing office and commercial moves and so forth. And all of that was building me up to where I need to be today to provide the best service for our customers. Absolutely. No, hundred percent. So you guys are, you know, a, a part of um, a national van line, which I saw and you mentioned right. uh, briefly. You know, what's the value um, of being a part of a van line like that is um, just just so, you know, the audience has a little bit more of understanding of sure. what exactly that is and, um, and, and why it's a valuable thing for movers to be to be a part of. 
Well, um, Atlas Van Lines is who are, we're affiliated with. We're yep. a franchisee owner. And um, the biggest benefit that I've had in the you know, past 20 years being part of an Atlas agent is our network for, you know, domestically throughout the country. And, um, you know, over the years, getting to know our network and our partners and counting on them to service our clients in areas I'm, uh, I'm unable to but I need to be able to trust someone to provide the same level of service I do. And um, with our partners within the Atlas community, it's just phenomenal, fantastic. We get together a couple of times a year, you know, make sure we understand uh, the services we need to provide and the level of uh, quality we expect. And it's just, um, we couldn't do it without our family of Atlas agents. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really cool concept. And, um, you know, it's, it's basically, building out a team of, you know, independent movers in their different states, you know, obviously different things are going on, but what, what I'm sure happens as well is, you know, you guys develop new strategies together um, at a certain point too. So everyone's kind of, you know, involved in their own day-to-day -day businesses, but as you're working through them, um, you know, something like maybe that PPP type of opportunity comes up where, you know, um, not only can you take advantage, you know, take advantage of being able to help like with something like that locally, but, you know, you can form, um, a community that, that gets around it and, and also provides those services in different parts of the country. So, I mean, it, just that, you know, that's one example, but I'm sure that type of stuff comes sure. up all the time. Yeah, I've got warehouses on the West Coast, East Coast, uh, Southwest, uh, within our partner network that are handling that for us. And I would have been unable to handle that for our clients without being in that network. And our clients expect, and, um, and understandably so, for us to be able to cover any scenario, if it's um, a PP distribution or an office relocation or transferring a uh, one bedroom apartment transferee from Fargo, North Dakota to Portland, Oregon in two days, that's how we have to rely on our network to make those things happen. Absolutely. So I'm sure technology must play a pretty significant role in, um, in making stuff like that happen. How are you seeing technology you know, maybe disrupt the moving industry a little bit, or how yeah. is it playing a role in the moving industry, you know, in 2021? It's a, it's a huge, huge role is playing. Uh, over 20 years ago, I was actually the beta testing for IGC software. Um, at that point, all moving um, estimators were using, you know, handwritten uh, cube sheets and so forth. And I helped uh, go through the beta, beta testing for back then it was a Palm Trio or, you know, or Palm Pilot. And uh, now we're using our iPads, but having things electronically eliminates the human error side of it, um, keeps it more efficient. And um, again, provides with more efficiency and less error. It's a better service for our clients. On the driver and truck side, all of our drivers are now electronic as well. In the past, everything was handwritten. As you know, everyone has different handwriting techniques. You can't really read. Now it's electronic, it's fluid. Uh, you have instantaneous information to our customers and to our operations group, which again, anything like that helps deliver quality service to our clients. Absolutely, you know, simplifying things, making things being able to happen um, you know, quicker I feel like speed is just a common theme nowadays, um, you know, with make, make, making sure that that information can be accurately portrayed quickly. Um, you know, and you're seeing stuff like that. I mean, I'm in the moving industry myself, like we talked about before. And uh, even just, you know, being able to do virtual quotes. I mean, that's something that sure. has very popular. Um, but talk just, about, uh, you know, talk about oh, something that- we, We've just uh, uh, have a new software program now where it is an AI software. If we can't get out to do a physical survey to someone's home, you know, due to COVID restrictions or, you know, the area they're in, it's a virtual software. And all I have to do is scan throughout the house and it reads everything as it goes through. So we're currently in the process of implementing that within our structure as well. So again, it's, a, as you said, it's instantaneous. Um, customers, customers expect, um, instantaneous quotes. And I, I understand because that's what society is at this moment. And um, without the technology we have, you know, as far as even being at home and, you know, having access 24 seven to our jobs, uh, it helps tremendously to provide that service for them. Absolutely. I mean, it's a, it's a, 
it's an incredible tool for a number of reasons. Um, and it's a great sales tool too. I mean, if you, if you can be the one that, you know, um, gets in the quote, you know, the fastest and the, the most accurate, sure. um, it's going to help you convert more jobs just at the end of the day. And, yeah. and people feel safer nowadays with what's going on in the world, you know, not having people enter their homes. I mean, it's right. a big Absolutely. part of the moving industry forever, but, um, you know, it's a, it's a change that I feel like when it finally gets to be, you know, something that everyone's doing, um, you know, it's going to be for the greater good. I feel like. Yeah, I agree completely. So you guys seem like, you know, um, obviously opportunistic people, but also people who, um, you know, enjoy helping others um, and, and, you know, being around, um, you know, for, for as long as Apex has been, um, you know, what's, what type of things do you do to get involved in the community? I mean, maybe outside of business, because um, I always like to hear, you know, good stories like that. And I feel like companies like yours um, oh. traditionally are, are great at stuff like that. Well, um, we're a family owned company and uh, the owner of our company, Mark Duke, um, is heavily involved in the community and expects each of us within the organization to be us. So there's a organization called Move for Hunger. I don't know if you're aware of that. Um, of okay, so Move for Hunger is a national organization and we collect food that when we're moving a transferee, they're, they're not going to want to move all their canned goods and things and We'll collect that food and nationally and take it to a local food bank. And um, the year before, uh, 2019, um, we actually were the number one agent in the United States for Move for Hunger as far as donations. We uh, have a lot of campaigns within the local schools here. Um, we raise food, um, uh, you know, the, the uh, food shelter awareness within the schools. We offer gift cards and pizza parties to the local schools for them to raise food and we collect it and bring it to the, the food banks. Um, anything that happens in Tennessee, you know, we had tornadoes this past year. Uh, we were offering our services for free, free boxes to people whose homes were demolished, um, free storage for a specific, you know, certain amount of time, helping Metro schools move. We would send crews out to get lockers out of the rubble. And, and so students could be, you know, placed in different schools. If there's anything that happens, we're there as a uh, organization. And um, I believe that's our strongest philosophy as, you know, the community, our clients, and then our employees. Definitely. I mean, talk about a great organization. You know, that's a really, um, it, it seems like uh, such a well thought out thing, you know, when, when it comes to people who are, are in transit, people who are moving around, you know, like you said, they have cabinets full of stuff that, you know, could just be right. repurposed and, and go to people that, um, you know, need it the most. Um, and so even just outside of that, I mean, even involved, just being involved in that is awesome. And then um, outside of that, you know, it's, it's always good to hear when, um, you know, ownership really makes that a point to be, you know, kind of a part of the community. Um, it's good for everybody. You know, it's good for business. You guys get recognition, sure. but it, it's also just good to, um, you know, give back to the, to the area that, uh, you know, has helped you get to where you are today. And, and I can't, I'd be remiss in not mentioning our clients, our clients more than happy. They're partnering with us and um, they're excited. In fact, uh, two of our biggest clients will check and make sure, Hey, how much have we, are our guys, um, donated how you know they want to know they're actively involved in it so it's not only just on an agent side it's our client side and uh, we really enjoy doing that and um, in fact uh, in 2020 we were voted the number one agent by the american movement and storage association in the united states just for service levels for our clients wow congratulations i mean that's to talk mm -hmm. about something that um you know, something to be proud of. And uh, there's a lot of moving, there's a lot of organizations within those industries and um, within those communities and, and to be awarded, you know, the top one is, is something really to be proud of for sure. So, um, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, it, it was a great honor. Um, and it's voted by the other agents and it's not limited to Atlas band lines. It's united out everyone. And so wow. they, they would vote as a single agent location, the number one. It's amazing getting recognition like that from your peers. Um, it must feel good. Yes. So the last question I typically ask everybody on the show, it's, you know, a little bit more lighthearted of a question. Um, you know, 
Do you have any um, maybe book recommendations or podcast recommendations for anybody out there that's listening? Maybe something that you've read or listened to recently. It doesn't have to be business related, but um, you know, most of the time it is. So I just right. you know, throw that out there and, uh, and see what you're maybe listening to or reading uh, nowadays. You know, that's a, uh, that's a great point. Uh, I really don't have any recommendations on that right now. I have some very specific uh, trade magazines and, 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 online uh, uh, periodicals and then some LinkedIn areas, but nothing specific. It's, as you know, it's a, it's a constant flow of information and you have for to sure. go mine it and get it. So I'm searching for that at any downtime I have, I go look through it, but nothing specific. Gotcha. Is there anything as a mover um, that, you know, would be a good publication to follow? Um. I'm just, I'm going to have to, right now, I don't have anything specific on it. I, I, I do, I, I research a lot of small things and it comes together for me. And, uh, but nothing that I've gone out and looked at and I probably need to do so. That's No, no I mean, uh, yeah. I need to do more of it myself and that's yeah. why I typically I ask, but uh, no, at the end of the day, um, I'm, it's I'm just when networking you're... the whole time with our agents and clients and that's, that's where I'm getting it. I'm, Definitely. When you're involved in as much as you guys are and as much as you are on a daily basis, you know, like you said, that constant flow of information is just something that you're trying to stay ahead of. Right. And so, um, you know, not clouding it with other things is um, yeah. sometimes sometimes important. And so, you know, what I'll do is um, I if it's something that um, you are actually looking to get back into, you know, I've, I've gotten some good recommendations from some of the other people I've had in the podcast, maybe throughout different industries. So um, I'll attach that, send it over sure. And, uh, sure. and, and maybe, you know, you could. Um, Take a look at some of that stuff. Well, and, you know, just as listening to you, I mean, I've got, of course, our Nashville Business Journal, our ERC magazine I get, you yep, know, yep, monthly. Yep. Our Atlas website with the Atlas Loop um, has updates with us constantly. Those are some main items that I check every day. I'm, I'm researching. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, no, it's definitely... Um... I mean, the industry now, you know, it's like it's changing in so many ways, like we said, and um, I feel like, you know, something like COVID probably pushed, you know, this industry and, and other industries like 15, 20 years ahead, you know, over the course oh, of one year. Absolutely. And I don't want to, I want to knock on wood here, but prior to COVID, we were already transferring, you know, as far as technology, trying to get the most cutting edge and, um, doing things that luckily were exactly where we needed to be when this hit. So that's that great. Well. So, I mean, you were, you guys were in a position to just keep moving forward and doing that stuff. And, um, right. and, you know, I'm sure you're going to stay ahead of the curve. It seems like you guys already are in a lot of different ways. And so, um, no, look, Chris, this has been awesome. I mean, uh, I appreciate your insight. I appreciate your insight into the world of moving, um, what you guys are doing, um, all the cool stuff that you're doing, not only as a business, but, you know, just giving back to the community as well. So um, thank, thank you very you. much for sharing all that information. And sure. it's, been, um, it's been fantastic having you on. All right. Thanks, Joe. It was great uh, talking to you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. We'll stay in touch. Yes, sir. Bye-bye.